up guys mike your head trader at true trading group on may 8th uh this is going to be a quick video this is going to be a short one i just want to talk to you guys um just about kind of the volatility that we have going on with the uncertainty with the the ongoing trade talks with us and china and kind of talk to you a little bit about what is actually going on because it was a big discussion today in chat a lot of people were asking me about um about what is going on with the us and china exactly some people didn't really quite understand um, you know why the market fell and and really what to expect going forward and I want to go over that with you today's a red day for me I took a loss uh, in the morning on the TVIX and then I just really just kind of stayed away um, from the market the rest of the day and then I step away from my computer to, to go to the bathroom and then WKHS which was the stock that we were watching today just absolutely explodes and I was in the bathroom for it so that sucked but um, Alex, one of the other moderators in TTG, he caught um, a huge chunk of this WKHS. Um, guys, I mean, this was just a monster move in the afternoon, and that was right when I, I had to go to the bathroom. And I went to the bathroom around like 1.50, 2 o'clock, and by the time I came back, the stock had already done that, and then I just felt like I was chasing, so I just didn't let the thing go. Um, so that sucked, but um, a lot of members caught that WKAS, so congrats to those that, that did nail it. Um, but let's get back to the, the overall market. And I want to talk to you guys about kind of what's going on. <clears throat> so the a little while ago, uh, Trump and China came up with uh, a truce, saying that they were not going to raise any more tariffs to let negotiations continue without any more tariffs. The deadline for that is Friday. OK, and as we approach that deadline, you're getting headlines that are coming out about the probability of there not being a deal, there being a deal, there being tariffs increased, not being tariffs increased. And it's creating a very volatile market and a very volatile environment where we went from extreme low levels of volatility just a few days ago to now some pretty intense volatility in the sense of the market is extremely susceptible right now to the slightest news headline regarding trade. And I want you guys to be extremely careful over the next two days with any mid or large cap swing trades. OK, I do not have any open swing trades right now. I don't plan on holding any mid and large cap swing trades. If you're doing some small cap swings, like some low flow, like WKHS or something like that, like a low float small cap stock, that's a re reverse split. It's got news. That's a little bit different because that might be a little bit of an isolated situation. It won't be as affected from an overall market move, um, as you will see in some of the mid and large cap names. So I'm, I've suggested or I've, I've gave my opinion kind of to all of our two trading group members to be very careful with any mid and large cap swings over the next couple of days because we're very susceptible to news headlines. The slightest little thing, a tweet, um, a sentence from some, uh, you know, someone from the White House, someone from China, media in China, media in the U.S. It can be something as simple as a delay in travel. Um, that side of maybe some of the Chinese leaders can all affect the market greatly as we approach this deadline on Friday because there's three different there's three different possible outcomes. Outcome number one, which is the grace the best scenario, we get a trade deal. There's no tariffs. The market rallies. We we see new all time highs pretty quickly. That's option number one. Option number two, we don't get a deal, but we also don't get tariffs. And we maybe extend the deadline another 30 days to allow for negotiations to continue. You'll hear Trump come out and say, you know, I've decided to extend the, the truce on the tariffs, but, you know, because we're making really good progress, Ch uh, China wants a deal. We want a deal, but it's got to be a great deal. Um, you know, you might hear that. And, and then I think the market goes higher, but I don't think we necessarily rip to new highs as, as we would if we get a deal. But I think the market would would be bought on that news if there, as long as there's no tariffs. And then worst case scenario is there's no deal, tariffs increase, and China walks away from the negotiating table. If that happens, I think we have a lot of downside in the market. Okay, a no deal, I think we see maybe on the SPY, I think we get back to 260, 265. So I think we have a lot of downside if we get a no trade deal. Okay, that'll have major impacts on the U.S. economy, Chinese economy, the global economy as, as a whole, global growth, um, you know, earnings growth for companies for the remainder of 2019 and going into 2020. 
So I think we will see a lot of down. That's why I think we're going to get a deal. I think there's too much at stake for both countries. I think we will get a deal. We maybe not. Maybe we don't get a deal by Friday, but I think we'll get no tariffs and we extend, um, and we extend that um, that truce. I think that's probably the most likely scenario. We'll see what happens. But the point is, guys, that today you saw two examples of the slightest little thing moving the market. Okay, and I want to zoom in here on the SPY, and I want to show you guys my trade on the SPY on the TVIX today. So I bought the TVIX originally right there. This is the SPY chart, okay? But I used the SPY to to buy the TVIX. So we bounced, we kind of bounced up here. Um, we we tried to go green on the SPY, so we gapped down. We pushed up. We tried to go green. You see all this resistance up here. You see how we kept on tailing up here? Resistance, resistance, resistance. The market couldn't go green. So I was building a TVIX position based on that. I actually added this position right there on that red candle, and I added to it again on that red candle. So I actually got up to a very large TVIX position, and when we broke below view up here, I thought we were golden to get down to test, okay, the low of the morning, the initial morning low, which is right here, and right here was going to be on the SPY. That would have been my first take profit on the TVIX trade. Well, we never got it because Sanders came out and said um, that they have indications that China wants to make a deal. That's literally all she said. We have indications that China wants to make a deal and the market went boom, shot right up a point and a half right through the high of the day. The SPY went a point and a half through the highs and I had to stop out of my, my TVIX position when the SPY did that. Okay, so I ended up taking a loss on that trade. Now, of course China wants to make a deal. Everybody knows that. Otherwise, what have we been doing for the last several months with these negotiating talks? Why is the vice premier coming to the U.S. to have negotiations and sit down at the table? Of course they want a deal. Trump wants a deal. The U.S. wants a deal. China wants a deal. Xi wants a deal. Everybody wants a deal. She really didn't say anything new. But... It crosses the wire, it's picked up as positive trade talk, the algorithms kick in, and the market pops through the high of the day. Okay, that is how susceptible we are to headlines regarding trade. Nothing happened. That's not an update in any way, shape, or form. Okay, but still, the market makes a quick move. Then, let's go to the end of the day. Right before the close, Donald Trump is boarding a plane heading down to Florida. A reporter asks him a question about um, China retaliating against his tariffs because there was news out of China that if that they are, although China does want a deal, okay, if Trump increases tariffs, the Chinese are <clears throat> preparing retaliation against those tariffs. That's normal, okay? So that was kind of talked about during the day. And then right before the close, a reporter asks Trump right before he's boarding a plane about China retaliating. And Trump comes out and says, I'm glad China is preparing retaliations because I like tariffs. Market sells. We go from right near the high of the day, a quick sell off on heavy volume right into the close because of one sentence that Donald Trump said. That is how susceptible we are to trade headline talks right now. That is how volatile the market is right now. The market is very fragile. You can push it one way or the other with a tweet from Donald Trump, a statement from the White House, or a news story that breaks on the Chinese media. Okay, this is why I'm saying to be very careful with mid and large cap swing trades over the next two days because the slightest little thing and the slightest little insignificant thing, these are not deal-changing headlines. A deal-changing headline would be the, the vice premier gets up in the middle of his meeting with Lighthizer, walks out of the meeting, throws his notebook, gets on a plane, and leaves. That's a deal-changing headline that would create a sell-off and a sustained sell-off, meaning deals off, no trade deal, here come tariffs. And we're in for a full-blown trade war. We already kind of are in a trade war, but I mean, like, it's going to get worse. Okay, that would be a headline worth really taking notice of. But Sanders coming out and saying, we have indications China wants to make a deal. No crap, of course. Okay, Trump saying, oh, I like tariffs. Nothing new there. 
He has said that multiple times. He has said, I like $100 billion coming into the U.S. Treasury from China. I like tariffs. They're good. Okay? You've heard him say that before. None of this rhetoric today is anything new, and yet it pushed the market a point and a half in, in both directions. Okay? So that is the point of me making this video is just to go over this with you so you understand what is going on in the global economic, the geopolitical environment so that you can make the best decisions and put yourself in the best situations. And I feel that so when you enter a swing trade, you carry a, an extra layer of risk that you do not in day trading in the sense of you are susceptible to gap ups and gap downs. You're susceptible to news, positive or negative. OK, that's just part of swing trading. OK, but in a situation like we're in now. You are almost that risk is is increased because of how susceptible the market is to the slightest little headline regarding trade. So I'm going to stay away from mid and large cap swings for the next couple of days. I've suggested to all of our TGD members to kind of do the same unless, you know, really pick your spots, make sure it's an isolated, um, you know, event or if it's an isolated, you know, situation with whatever it is that you're watching. Because I just feel like there's just too much risk to pick a true directional trade, especially in the overall market. But if you're going to do a sector leading large cap or maybe a mid cap that can get affected from it too, I think you got to be a little bit careful with the choices that you make over the next couple of days. Okay, so that's it, guys. Just wanted to talk about that. I hope it helps. I'll see you guys in chat tomorrow. Take care.